Hi, I'm Sue and I'm your garden guru from Garden Shop. And today we are going to show you how to pot up some Italian herbs for all your favorite Italian dishes so that you can put it outside in your garden in a sunny position. Now, here to help me are my team, Bethel and Alton, and we will be showing you how to do this. Now, first of all, you'll see we've got a selection here of terracotta pots. The reason why we're using the terracotta pots is because the terracotta pots are porous, they absorb water, and then as the air breathes through them, they actually keep your plant roots nice and moist and cool. Okay, so we've got a whole selection here. Um, we've got different sizes to suit different types of plants. And then we've got all our favorite Italian herbs as well. We've got a flat leaf parsley, an Italian parsley over here. Very beautiful, nice plant. And we are going to put it in this pot, which is quite suitable size for the plant. Then over here, we've got some annual basil. We're going to plant that into a lower pot. Because it's annual, so it doesn't have very big roots. And we can actually clump them nicely together. Over here, which we've already potted up, is a rosemary bush and you can see we've used quite a big pot for this because the rosemary bush is going to grow into a fair size and then this one over here is our fennel and you'll see I selected a bronze fennel just for the foliage color to give it a bit of extra color in your herb section then this one over here is our thyme that will eventually grow in and cascade over the pot and then we've got a slightly bigger pot here for our sage as well. And the sage will also grow nicely into the pot. Now at the bottom there, we've got with Alton um, some oregano. And we've got a bay laurel tree. Now the bay laurel is going to grow significantly big. So we selected quite a nice big pot for that. And we're going to plant the oregano around it so that it will fill the pot and cascade over the side. So, let's get going. What is our first step? First of all, we're going to put some stones into the bottom of our terracotta. And then, we're going to take some herb coffee mix and we're going to fill up the pot halfway with the herb coffee mix. There we go, Alton. You can plant that big one there for us so long. And then we're going to take our plant out of the container and we're going to place it into the pot. Uh, so this is our flat leaf parsley here. We're taking it out of the container and we're placing it into the pot at the same level that the plant was originally planted. And now we can fill that container up with some soil. Alton is doing the same on that side. And I'm going to do this basil over here. You can see I filled up the pot significantly with soil because these are small plants. And I'm just going to plant them in this pot. Let me put it there. Do a nice arrangement and we can plant them quite close together because they will bush out and I find that basil is also something that you use quite a lot of so it's important that you've got a good supply of basil. Remember the basil is also seasonal so in winter the basil would die down and you would need to plant new ones in spring. That is our little basil plant going in there and I'm securing the soil nicely around it and let's put in another one. Put in the center one here. Oh and I can just smell these leaves. They are smelling terrific and I feel like doing some serious cooking when I smell this. And there's nothing like fresh herbs in your cooking. Dried herbs, the aroma can't even get to the fresh herbs. 
baby. Right, so we've planted that altar. How far are you there? You can fill up that pot and you can plant some. Are we got them there on the side for us? There we go. The basil is done here, the parsley is done nicely. I think you need a bit more soil there, Alton. Take the oligonum here, and you'll just need to make a little space there for it. I'm taking the oligonum out of the pot, and just loosening some soil here a little bit so that we can get it in. Let's plant it in the front the altar. You need quite a nice little hole there. Let's see. And again, you can see that I'm placing the plant at the original height that it was. You don't want to cover the entire thing. Great! So that's everything planted, and we are now going to make little arrangements of our pots here in this little corner. We've now potted everything and we are now going to make a nice arrangement of our plants. Your herb garden doesn't necessarily have to look like a straggly bit of garden tucked away. It can really sort of enhance your garden and it can really become a feature point. I'm also just going to discuss with you briefly the herbs and you'll see most herbs really need nice sunny conditions to grow well and we've selected this corner here outside our kitchen where we are now going to place our pots in a nice arrangement. As you well know we've planted the bay laurel or the bay leaf in this big pot here and that is going to grow in quite a large shrub um, if you have a big pot like this. Now the bay laurel is always good for everything. Make sure your soil is well drained and that it gets loads of sun and you can just pick the leaves as you need it. Underneath here we've planted some oregano. Again the oregano needs well drained soil. The oregano will eventually fill this pot as a ground cover and start to cascade around the edge of the pot. Now next, Elton if you can bring us that rosemary there. Now as I said the rosemary is also going to grow into quite a biggish sort of bush and both the rosemary, the bay laurel are perennials. That means they grow year after year and the plant will just become bigger and stronger as long as you feed it well. And then we've got our Italian parsley which should also become a perennial growing year after year if you look after it, keep it watered and cut it down once it's seeded. Our fennel Again, a perennial herb, you'll see it will go down a bit once it's starting to flower, but then the new shoots will come out and you will also get quite a nice bulb from them. And the bulb is very edible as well, so you can divide it and cook the bulbs and plant the peas back and that should do you fine. We've got our basil here, which is an annual herb. Let me just make a nice arrangement here. Now the basil, as I said, this is annual, so you'll have to replant this every spring. Um, and you can harvest it all through summer as you need it. That's our basil going in there. And then we've got our thyme and our sage. Again, both perennial herbs. And they should grow year after year. If you look after them, and water them and give them some food. Remember all plants in pots need to be fed because they can't go looking for food in the soil. And lastly we are going to water our herbs thoroughly. And make sure that it, the water runs right through on your first watering so that everything is nice and wet through. After that 
most herbs don't need that much water because as we've discussed they actually grow in the Mediterranean area where it is quite hot quite dry and rocky so the points for your herb garden or pot would be to plant them in a sunny position well drained soil and we they don't get water lot. Well, that is it from us for today. Elton and Bethel, thank you very much. You can see we've made quite a nice arrangement here for our herb garden and our kitchen. And I can't wait to start cooking. Are well, you going to cook, Elton? Oh, yes, I will. And <laughs> you, Bethel? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm the garden guru from Garden Shop, and this is Bethel and Alton you. and you can follow us on our webpage gardenshop.co.za under the Garden Guru tab.